get a lot of cool features, like parental speed control, an adjustable seat, key ignition, and many other cool features. This is one of the fastest electric go-karts out there. It easily outruns all the Razor go-karts with a top speed of 18 miles per hour. I think the top speed is closer to 20 miles an hour, but the Motobuy's website says 17. The go-kart is very easy to start. You just put the key in and you're ready to go. The high-torque electric motor allows the go-kart to get up and go very quickly from a dead stop. Its size allows it to fit on the sidewalk very easily. The go-kart handles very nicely at higher speeds, but at lower speeds, the go-kart doesn't have a very good turning radius. Sometimes, at high speeds, one of the front wheels can come off the ground, causing you to lose control. This is because there's not a lot of weight on the front wheels. This takes a little getting used to when driving the go-kart. The go-kart works pretty well off-road, as long as you're not going up a hill. When you go up a hill, it can get stuck, because it doesn't have the power. The go-kart is very quiet because of the electric motor. It would be great for people who want to ride a go-kart, but don't want to bother their neighbors. It's pretty lightweight for a go-kart. Weighing in at about 160 pounds, it takes about three people to get it into the back of a truck. It wouldn't fit into a car or an SUV, so you'd need a truck to carry it around. The go-kart is pretty small, though. I wouldn't recommend it for anyone over 5 foot 6. The go-kart is shipped in a large cardboard box on a wooden pallet. The charger is shipped separately, which is a bit of a problem. Especially for us, because our charger was shipped to the wrong location. It arrives fully assembled, except for the roll bar, which you have to put on yourself. All in all, it's a pretty good go-kart. It's safe, fast, but the only person I wouldn't recommend it for is someone that's really tall.